It's Thursday night, and wow, what a day today was in the NCAA tournament. One of the best days of March Madness that we have ever seen. There were five one-point games. There was a two-point game. There was another game that went into overtime, was decided by three points. Virtually every game came down to the last few minutes, and it was awesome action throughout the entire day. We saw Texas. They went down. We saw SMU. They choked. We saw Ohio State. Oh, they won, even though I didn't pick them. In fact, most teams that I picked did not win throughout the day. Unfortunately for me, I lost four of those five one-point games, and my picks basically sucked. I got eight out of 16 correct for the day, which is pretty much exactly like flipping coins. And I just got to say, it was a terrible showing. By the way, if I were to have any excuse, I would tell you there was, there's a reason why I have not watched very many NCAA basketball games throughout this last uh, season. And that's because I have been watching all of these guys' games throughout this entire basketball season. Yes. All right. Well, anyway, with 8 out of 16, also, just like me, picking terribly for today, Jim McGowan, Rick Schomburger, Austin Orton, Ryan Casey, P.J. Potter, Cindy Mormon, John Wasserman, Brandon Oot, Gavin Brontoli, Jason Evers Helmich, Kevin the self named sports genius Donahue, not Kyle Steinfeld, Chris Naku, Anthony Garcia, and then also not so illustrious former champions who got eight out of sixteen today. Kathleen Woods, Chris Heigel, Jeff Nixon, and yes, defending champion Jacob Kinnamore crashing back to earth this year with terrible picks. Now, if you beat me, you're immune from some ridic ridicule, at least for now. So congratulations if you got at least 9 out of 16 right today. There are three people below me. In below my wretched bracket, in the bowels of the pool standings, with seven out of 16, seven for 16, we had Paulette Britton. Yes, thank you for your donation and sorry for the failure of the Texas schools today. With six out of 16, a meager six out of 16, we had Sam Olaf who was invited by Michael Cassetta. Thank you very much, Michael, for donate, for uh, inviting your donating friend. Finally, with five out of 16, the most horrific prognosticator of college basketball games out of our entire 112-person pool, alone in last place, which is very hard to do, by the way, when there's 112 people in the pool. Alone in last place with five out of 16. Jameson Jones. Yes, the Jameson Jones, the JBJ, with only 5 out of 16. You might be asking, what games did he get correct? He managed to get Kentucky. He managed to get Villanova. He managed to get Arizona. He managed to get Notre Dame. And he did manage to get North Carolina over Harvard. Nice job, JBJ. Five out of 16. You may be illustrious as a vector manager, but in picking college basketball games, you suck. At least you had the guts to enter the pool, though, and contribute your 40 bucks. There were people who put a bracket in our, in our pool on our website, uh, who put their name, you know, an entry in our website, and then never filled out a bracket. Trey Ketchum, thank you very much. And there's people who love watching these videos and contributing to the smack and trying to participate even though they're not playing and they're not part of the pool. Nick Pang, pay your $40 next year, sir. All right, some people did very well today. Remarkably, leading the pool early on for the second year in a row with 14 out of 16 correctly predicted today was Chris Oaks. Yes, 14 for 16 for Oaks. The only games he missed were the Iowa State game and the Baylor game, both of which came down to one-point games. So Chris was literally just 
a bucket here, a bucket there, from having a perfect bracket today. Congratulations, outstanding showing, 14 for 16, first place all by himself, Chris Oaks. We have an eight-way tie with 13 out of 16. These are rounding out our current Elite Eight. Jason Flynn, Brent Bridges, Celestino Rosa, John Rulin. Yes, that John Rulin. Uh, Justin Ip, Chris Cooper, Tom Skowski, and Cilia Ane. Yes, Cilia, making a bid so far to be the top chick in the pool. And I'm wearing my Arizona hat in honor of Cilia today. Nice job. We also had 11 other people with 12 out of 16, including perennial top chick candidate Rachel Schaefer, or Rachel Dowd, or whatever your name is now. Dana Sclafani, also with 12 out of 16. Jeremy Bell, Ricardo Nunez, Andrew Van Wy, Tyler Park, Robert Katayama, Michael Cassetta, and also Bruce Goodman and Al DiLeonardo with 12 for 16, as well as, yes, Phoebe Zan with 12 out of 16. And let me just tell you the way Phoebe made her picks. Phoebe, by the way, does not watch games. As I said, she feigns interest when I start talking about it, trying to teach her stuff. Of course, I have nothing to teach since I suck. Phoebe made various picks with Kiana picking hats. Uh, she picked based on which teams have a K. I'm like, Kansas or Notre Dame? She's like, Kansas, they have a K. Uh, and she also made picks based on various strange Asian superstitions like which teams might have eight letters in their name. So she managed to get 12 out of 16 and beat virtually all of you in this pool. Nice job, Phoebe. Uh, we had seven uh, sucker contestants, sorry, who lost one of their finalists today. These were all people who had Iowa State reaching the championship game. One of our leaders, Celestino Rosa, Buddy Boyd, Ty Wilda, J. Brad Britton, Peter Schneider, Kyle Steinfeld, and, yes, again, defending champion Jacob Kinnamore. They all had Iowa State in the championship game. You're out. Uh, we will have, uh, we have 112 entries in the pool. Um, and so, uh, assuming we get payments from everybody, we have a few things going on here as far as our prize pool. $240 to the leader after Sunday. That is a bonus available to everyone who has paid for their pool by now. So if you are watching this video and you have not yet paid, please pay immediately so that you're eligible for that $240. There are a few of you who are uh, some of the leading contestants who have not yet paid and need to get your payment in immediately. Um, there will be about $1,220 for first place, $840 for second. I may adjust first and second if there are some deadbeat losers that I don't collect from here. Uh, and then we'll go 600 for third, 500 for fourth, 400 for fifth, 300 for sixth, 200 for seventh, and 100 for eighth. So the Elite Eight will all get paid and be immortalized in pool history. As far as who picked whom, 57 people in the pool, more than half of the people in the pool, as I predicted, have picked Kentucky to win the championship. Not a very good strategic pick because you got to beat all those 56 other people earlier in the earlier rounds in order to have a chance to win. But what the hell, I picked Kentucky. I just think they're going to win. Um, 20 people picked Arizona. Surprising. 20 people picked Arizona, and 16 people picked Wisconsin. There was also one person, Chris Oaks, our leader, who picked North Carolina. So there's no concern about Oaks winning the overall pool. He's just trying to get that 240 and get out of here. Now, so that's 57 plus 20 is 77 plus 67 is 93 plus 1 is 94 people picked a team from that side of the bracket, the left side of the bracket on uh, any of your printouts that you guys might have of the, uh, in, of the uh, tournament. Um, that's crazy. Very few people pick teams from the right side of the bracket. So if you did, you are strategically very well positioned to have a chance to win the pool outright. There were five people who picked Villanova. There were four who picked Duke four who picked Gonzaga, three, only three who picked Virginia. This was a team considered the number two team in the country for most of the season, and only three people picked them. And then we had two jokers who picked Michigan State, Jason Flynn and Jeff Bry. Thanks for donating 
These guys usually ride their hopes on Michigan State, and frankly, Michigan State usually does really, really well. But unfortunately for Michigan State, Virginia is looming for them, and the Hoos are going to take that game down and make it to the Final Four. All right, as far as Friday goes, uh, you don't want to start watching too late tomorrow or you might miss two more Big 12 teams going down because Kansas and West Virginia are playing in the early games tomorrow. Wichita State versus Indiana is probably the most interesting game uh, in the uh, early stages of uh, tomorrow. Uh, also, I chose a major upset with Valparaiso over Maryland uh, tomorrow in the early stages as well. The best matchup in the evening is Oklahoma State versus Oregon. Incidentally, I do own both of those hats, and when Phoebe was making her picks, she had Kiana pick a hat, and Kiana immediately reached for the Oklahoma State hat. So for what that's worth, that is her pick. You all know how she did with the College Football National Championship. We also have Duke, Wisconsin, and Gonzaga in action in night games uh, on Friday night. Should be a great day. Enjoy the action. Talk to you guys all tomorrow night.